Let's talk a minute about the green screen. Now, of course, it's very fun to use a green screen. It's a way for us to save money and time because we can put anything in the background, yeah? I can be in Washington, D.C. I can be in Beijing, but I don't need to be there. I just put it inside the green screen. So it's very handy. But a green screen is not always that easy to use effectively. So first of all, let's remember that it seems easy, but it's not easy to get a good key. So this word key, what does key mean? Key is the idea of keying. That is, you take the green out of the picture. So that's the process of green screening. You, of course, can use green screening in in live and in um, on site, on location. You can have green screens, so that's very troublesome, but you can. You can have green screens inside, which is very normal. But the one thing I like about green screening is I like to do it live, and I don't like to do it in post-production. What that means is that I want to use my software while I'm recording to capture me and to replace or key the green screen live. Then I send the recording to the hard disk and I can edit later, but I don't need to change the green screen. Now another way you could do this is you could record me and the green screen first, and then later in your software, put in the background. Yes, you can do that. But you've got to make sure that it turns out good and how do you know until you do it. Whereas if you do it live like this, you can see what's happening. This is the result. This is what we get. What you see is what you get. It also saves a lot of time and trouble. What if something goes wrong, the lighting was not right, or your software does not give you a good key? Too late to change it later after you've already recorded the person, the talent. So I like to go live. Lots of people don't like to, but I like to do that and save trouble. I don't want to do it in post-production. So I would say one important thing is if you're a student and you're helping at school to make videos or you're making a project, do as much as you can live and try to do as little as you can host. It's very easy to go online and find lessons on YouTube on how to do something in software. How to change this, how to change that, change the lighting, key the green screen. But boy, when you do it, 10 minutes on a YouTube video will take you a whole day or two days because lots of times the people making the YouTube videos, they took a long time too, but they edit it just to show you quickly or they practice a long time. It's never that easy. So you've got to really focus on saving time and making your work less. How do you do that? Do as much as you can live. So this is what a green screen looks like in our lab. We have this cloth green screen. Of course, you can have paper, you can have paint on the wall, you can have a portable green screens. There are many different types of green screens. What we have in the lab is this big piece of cloth that can roll up and roll down. Inside the lab, we also have a portable green screen that you can borrow and take out. Outside, this can fold up to become small and then can unfold to be larger. And we also use that in the lab sometimes when we run out of space. Here you can see the lights that are shining on the green screen. So it seems like the green screen should be no problem. Just go ahead and turn on the green screen, right? That will work fine. But in reality, green screens also need their own lighting, which sounds a little bit weird and ridiculous. But if you do not have lights for the green screen, it's going to be hard to make the key replacing it very clear. So, three-point lighting, remember? Three-point lighting is for the person, the talent you're recording. What else can you use? Green screen lighting, which is behind the talent. It has nothing to do with three-point lighting. And here is an example of a couple lights I'm using to light my green screen. So these are LED lights, and they are shining onto the green screen. Now, in another lesson, we talked about using software to measure the light and accuracy of your green screen and how easy it'll be to key. So you can use apps on your phone to do that. Very handy. Here's the other side of the green screen. And again, you can see I've got these lights pointing right on the green screen. And the idea is to try to fill the screen with light and make the whole color very, very even. No spots that are bright, 
no spots that are dark, no shadows, just one even green. Hello,使用方式是错误的。灯的使用其实也是一门艺术哦。先围的亮度跟角度差距都会影响整体作品的完整性。所以在使用灯光之前，必须先了解正确的使用方式，还有各各种灯具的差异哦。那我们现在先请